ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by rib today we're going back into code walker uh, following on from a video i probably made two months if not a bit longer ago which was how to use code walker and make a map mod um, back then i was a i was a bit of a novice but now gaining months more experience and completing over 15 different code walker projects we're going to come back to it i'm going to show you um what i've picked up from then some tips and some tricks and how to actually get started and use code walker uh, to build something for your 5m servers so first things first you do need code walker you can get it off their discord or you can get it off the gta 5 mods however uh, the most up-to-date link will probably be off the discord the code walker discord once you've got it downloaded and installed it will be in a folder like this and i'm going to double click code walkers see following on from the previous in, uh, tutorial video we did with code walker there's going to be a lot of things i missed a lot of methods i didn't do things would have changed so this is an updated march 2020 um tutorial video on how to stream a map mod okay so let it load this is what it does every time you load it up there's a couple of things here you have to click and i'll take you through them Okay, so first things first, the little arrows in the top right, we're going to click them so they come across, and we're going to go to Enable DLC. So click that. If we don't click that, when we open up somebody's Y map or when we uh, come to adding a load of objects, some objects you won't be able to see in game, it's because we haven't got the Enable DLC. You must have that clicked. I've never got the D Enable mods, but I've always got Enable DLC clicked. Okay, next, we're going to go over to a selection, and we're going to click Mouse Select. All right. Uh, within here, you can select collisions, occlusion, MLO instances. We're going to come back to that in other videos, but for right now, you just want it on Entity. So now anything I hover over, it will give me the big white box to indicate that object. So what we're going to do now is press T. So we get another two toolbar up. And as you can see, we have the direction for the pivots. We have the rotations, etc. Right. Anything I click within this map, within Code Walker, it will give me the name of that, for example, prop billboard. I have got other videos covering this. For example, if I wanted to reskin this billboard, I would be able to find that billboard by using its name. So I could paste that name into OpenIV, find the billboard, and wham bam through a couple of a little method, reskin that billboard. But I have got videos covering that. That's not what we're doing today. Today I'm just going to show you how to um, an updated how to stream and build something within. Uh, code walker and stream it on your 5m server so there's nothing really i want to do it's a it's a tutorial more than anything so we'll just add a few props on it on a rooftop out the way uh, i mean it doesn't really matter where we put them let's just go to uh, we'll figure something right so what you're going to do now you're going to go new new y map happy days that's all we need to do always selecting your y map and what we're going to do now is go to y map new entity and it always spawns in this egg. To change this egg to a different prop, a di different entity, we would put the name here. Okay, and then obviously we'd move the pivot, we'd move the object with our uh, rotation and directions up on that toolbar there. But to find a name of a prop, you can do what I did. I opened up various different Y maps that are out there on GTA 5 mods to get prop names of different assets. For example, if I was building a car dealer, I'd open up pe other people's car dealers, get a big list of what they used and what the props were called. And then when I come to do my own file, uh, for example, YMAP, new entity, I would know what those props are called to put in here. So, for example, let's just uh, add a couple of little props to the desktop, to the, sorry, Legion Square. Let me get a bit of light around here. Right, hold down, down your right click to get the light. Um, Another thing, when you're, let me show you, I'll put you something in. Um, let's get, and what's this? Uh, nope, 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 nope. I don't know, let's just put a load of cones or something. So let's, if you, like, like I, as another method I do, I would go around the whole map, depending on what I'm building, looking for different props that would match that would suit the kind of build I'm doing. So when, for instance, if I wanted that fire hydrant, that would suit my uh, fire station that I was building, I'd click it, I'd get its name, copy that, go back to where I'm building, Legion Square, for example, go back to my project window, highlight to my Y map, go to Y map, new entity, 
but this time because I've got the name of it based as my fire hydrant okay lower it move it but the biggest tip I'm going to give you guys I didn't know after until about three or four projects in is if you hold down shift and I can duplicate holding down I haven't let go of shift yet if I let go of shift obviously it'll move hold down shift make another let go of shift and move it where I want it so holding down shift is a it's a, such a time saver you would not believe to get everything on the right axis right levels save me absolute it just yeah save me days work literally right so the same would apply for adding any prop but now like I say now I've got loads of them I keep adding them and I could go to any of these objects and at any time change that to a different object right, let me get the name of that boom so this one here based example you get the gist there's also a website called plebs let me find that for you pleb master which has a big list of props for example if I wanted it this or whatever I wanted it's always an object name so like I could just change that there put that paste there's me beers or I could do the same again it's why map new entity put me beers and where I wanted them etc another thing to give you a tip for tip with as well sometimes you just can't get things but say I'm trying to get this these beers square and using this line as a reference but you just won't get that line it's not doing it for me now but sometimes you'll notice that the rotation is a bit buggered and you can't get a square line so if you press like that there it'll be like this and obviously that's not going to go square but if you press Q it will recenter your axis and now be good okay so let's say this is a a car dealer with a 700 um, 700 props it does it the same applies you just keep adding the props keep holding down shift adding more entities changing the name of it depending on what you're doing but that is the basics but now is the time we want to save this so what we'll do is we'd go to calculate all flags calculate extents this is important we would go to file save ymap as and save it on the desktop desktop as test it's a test ymap oh, oh. I'll call it tester just in case I've already got one called test it's, it's likely save it on the desktop happy days what I also need to do now and what you need to do is go to tools manifest generator save manifest and save that on the desktop okay happy days okay okay right we could have changed the name but we're good right so let's come off this do you want to close yes no, no, thank you, please. Okay, so we've got my manifest and we have our, where's the other Y map? Tester Y map. Lovely. Copy them. Let's take them over to my server. This is a little two core box, it's a little dev server. And let's find a other build that I've made before. Any of them will do. Rib rig first of all let me paste these files on there okay rib rig let's go stream remove them that's my oil rig let's put them in there okay rib rig resources rib rig let's change this to Let's just keep it rib. It doesn't matter what the name is, but that, that name's already in the server CFG, so I don't have to go and add it to the server CFG. So I'll leave it. Um, but what you have to do is change your. Sorry, empty your cache. My phone's getting a million messages. Stand by, boys. Yeah, I'm still. Right, so now let's empty the cache. Come on. Come on. Cash is emptied. Let's start this server. <laughs> so I'm using my rib rig resource. Obviously, you can call this folder whatever you want to call it. Inside, you'll have an FX manifest, which looks like this. This is a map, yes. FX version, games, and RDR3 warning. Or just pause it and copy what you just saw. 
and in the stream I'll put my stream folders which is my manifest and the map itself obviously this is called rib rig I can call this whatever I want but I will have to add that to your server CFG for your server to start it up but obviously rib rig is already in here so and this is only a test so I'm not bothered about overwriting my oil rig so let's let this start up let's go and get some do 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 5m on the go 5m 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 lovely okay still booting some coffee there is happy days right so there's quite a few things on the previous tutorial i missed i.e the enabling the DLC, i.e. your manifest files, probably even you calculate your flags and your extents. But this is the proper way to do it, guys. You know, like I say, I've just added six assets, entities. It doesn't matter if it was 106 or 1,006. The same method applies. What we just did there. So let's just get this server booted up. Let's get to Legion Square and see if our, which it will be, our fire hydrants and bin are on Legion Square. And that, my friends, today is an updated how to use Code Walker and make a little fire map. Just made. Right, I think we're near there. Right, I'll be back with you when we actually get on the server, guys. Okay, we're in. Let's head to the square. Have we got some fire hydrants in the square? We should have. And some bins. And there they are. And that, my friends, is how to use Code Walker and add some entities. Add some. It don't matter if these were big walls, it don't matter what they were. Uh, we happen to just use some hydrants for a test. Like I say, that's how it's done. Hope it helps. It's definitely a more of an updated version than the previous one I did when I was a bit of a noob. I've, now I've been using Code Walker for a fair few months and we've made a lot of projects. Like, subscribe for more guys. Any questions, feel free to ask them down below. I'll see you all again. Take care. Peace.